which encouraged further social and economic support for Buddhist monastic full range of application of enlightened power for societies. You follow? So, in continuity with that process, the greatest commandment and the second is like unto it. Thou shalt love thy neighbor. First I get some her inspiration and set the tone. Humanity and ease. Uh, and it's an enormous commitment to liberate all sentient beings, infinite sentient beings of all the three kinds from suffering, then we have some work to do. Uh, inadequate food, no medical care, practicing they And also to be Tibetan Buddhism has been a rich programmatic focus for higher different um, programs that offer graduate degrees focusing on Tibetan Buddhism from different vantage points and different disciplinary foci, including Columbia, Harvard, Europa, Maitripa, Chicago, Michigan, University of California, and Santa Barbara, and Berkeley, Emory, and elsewhere. Likewise, Tibetan, if we have the vision and courage to question our own past limitations and future possibilities as individuals, as programs, as disciplines, and as institutions. So in terms of logistics, we will start with two 20-minute keynote talks. To me, I'm nervous. I'm sorry, the definition of anger. Uh, you think and you think, and then you get a hit, and you realize, oh my god, yeah, I know this. And it's a little embarrassing to bring it forward. But again, my point is, um, hey, it, really, it makes sense. It's like a response from the environment. Not an expert in the modern academic study. And uh, first of all, let me really uh, express my gratitude uh, to all of you for joining us in this conference here uh, that coincides with His Holiness the Dalai Lama's visit. I hope that you were able to attend some of the events with His Holiness and, uh, uh, and it was incredible. This is a guidance manual. They don't... And what makes something beautiful and um, Geshe Thib Djimba talked about the poetry. Um, so I think it's important in all the, all, you know, well, somewhat depending on the genre and subject matter. And both of them have uh, valid grounding, have their own uh, uses. Which, um, since, you know, we're at a very early stage, you know, we're nowhere near what the Palitex Society has achieved. Uh, we're not been able to produce, in English translation, many of the texts that are recognized as classical and seminal for understanding the tradition. So the emphasis is more on producing these classical texts, you know, which are, you know, the authors have long gone. I would organizers of this conference for uh, the tremendous amount of work that went into uh, its preparation and execution.
but uh, thanks to Ambassador Marion Creekmore, if you could kindly stand. Uh, Thank you so much.